Hello everyone and welcome to Good Day GA. GA. <laughs> it's so great to be back in front of you guys again. Yes. Pastor Jennifer and my handsome husband, oh, wow. Pastor Thomas. Yes, thank and you, Jesus. I get the privilege of interviewing my husband today. Amen, amen. So for the past two shows, he interviewed me, and now I get that privilege to interview him and kind of let him share what the Lord has put on his heart. You know, one thing I want to encourage you with today, we have all been given a specific message from amen. the Lord, something that is just in your spirit, and he placed it there. And this is something I love to hear my husband talk about um, his his steps mm -hmm. to making the Bible come to life for you. Mm -hmm. That's something that all of us can benefit from. So we're going to get right into it. <laughs> so so from just from hearing you speak on this, I know you said it's about seven steps or right, so right. that that took you a bit along the journey of allowing the Bible to come to life for you, kind of throughout your life. Why don't yeah, you want to share yeah. on that? Oh yeah, most definitely. Um, this is something that I feel like was almost like a, um, a blueprint mm -hmm. for Christians to walk through to um, get to maturity in Christ. You know, uh, one of the things, like I always say, <laughs> that like in my 20s, when I, you know, I, I was saved when I was 17, really didn't take it real, real serious. Mm -hmm. you know, and then, you know, around my 20s and late teens, it was more so about reading the Bible for information. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm always, you know, just trying to stay current. Uh, you know, I grew up in in uh, church, mm -hmm. and by growing up in church, of course, you know, you need to at least know something yeah, you <laughs> about know the Bible. Some scriptures. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I just I wanted to know some scriptures. So right. you know, uh, it was just important to me, but it wasn't everything to me mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. And then when I start moving into my career, moving into my thirties. Uh, when I was reading the Bible, it was more so about um, getting the inspiration mm. and the motivation okay. to actually, you know, uh, do my job better and, right. to, to, and to do life better. But mm -hmm. it really wasn't about being a Christian better. Right. It was more so about, you know, really tapping into what God has for me that I can use to better myself. <laughs> so it's more of a selfish motivation. Oh, most definitely. How you could use the information for yourself. Most definitely. So the first one was information. Information. The yeah. second one was inspiration, inspiration. and motivation. And motivation. Oh, now, okay. You know, when I think of inspiration, I think of when I was reading the Bible and whatever I saw in the Bible, it came into me and motivate, it came into me and inspired me mm -hmm. to do things that I wasn't really thinking about doing. Oh, okay. You know, because it was, it was something that I wanted to get in to. Mm -hmm. so, so, so in other words, you mm -hmm. use the Bible kind of like a self-help book. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's, yeah. And that's what a lot of people, you know, yeah. if you look at authors, you look at some of their principles mm -hmm. about um, what they write about. They stole it's everything from right from the Bible, exactly. basically. Yep. But the only thing about that mm -hmm. is, it's, it's, like you said, it's selfish, it's self-motivated, mm -hmm. and it's self-centered. Right. So you can't really experience the fullness of it if you're looking at the Bible with a self-centered focus. Right, exactly, exactly. And then, you know, when I was looking at it for motivation... You know, when I look, when I think of the word motivation, it's something that God has already put a motive inside of me. Mm. And when I tapped into His Word, it triggered something in me to do what He wanted me to do. Oh, okay. You know, so that was, you know, that was some of my my um, motivation for reading the Bible. You right, know, right. and to try to get closer to Him, and, and and really, I thought that that was going to change my life. Mm -hmm. But true change doesn't come just through motivation or inspiration or just the information that you read. Right. It really comes from uh, reading the Bible for the purpose of transformation. Mm. You know, and when I say that, you know, like the Bible says, you know, that we are supposed to um, uh, uh, put into to, to our, our, put the words into our, our, our mind to uh, renew our renew mind. Renew our minds, yes. You know, be transformed, be transformed by transformed. the renewing of your mind. Exactly. Right? So when I started reading the Bible for transformational pur purposes, it turned on another switch. It turned on uh, a life for me that was not 
uh, sometimes not pleasing mm. because you know my, I was so used to doing things for self gratification yeah. and for my flesh to you mm -hmm. know to, 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 to be happy. Mm -hmm. But when I tr when you have to transform, you really have to die to self. Yeah. And and when you die to self, then you can start to live for God in a different way. You start That's right. your, your motives change. That's right. Your 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 your, your desires change. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, God says that He's gonna give us the desires of our heart. Amen. You know. So He actually gives us that desire right. in order for us to change. That's right. You know, That's right. one of the biggest changes that uh, I have go gone through probably over the last couple of years was in marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, change how, you know, we've been married before mm -hmm. and because of the, you know, we did things wrong, we were trying to change. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. I'm still in the process of changing we're, we're every day. We're all still in the process. <laughs> Nobody's finished on this That's side right. of heaven. That's for right. sure. <laughs> so, you know, I'm I'm constantly trying to read a scripture, apply it to my life so that I can change right. what I'm doing. That's right. And you're doing a good job at that, by the way. Well, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. And thank you. So that's like, th that actually started happening in, in my 40s. Mm -hmm. You know, now that I'm in my 50s. So first, let me recap. Okay. First, you did, you read it for information, mm -hmm. then inspiration and motivation. Right. Then by your 40s, you were reading for transformation. transformation. Now in your 50s, yes. you're... I'm reading it for revelation. Revelation. Yes. Amen. Yes. I'm trying to get the words that are behind the words. You know, when yes. you can read, you can read the scriptures over and over, yes. and then you see new things. Yes. And you hear new things. I mean, you give me revelation all the time. You know. Oh God, so, so good. So, so I know how, you know, reading the Bible for revelation can really help you in all the other areas that I just spoke Amen. about. You know, it really helps me it, to transform, but mm -hmm. it really gives me a closer walk with God. Mm -hmm. and it allows me to understand what he's saying in modern day situations right. that are not really applicable for the Bible where, because, you know, they have different things going on in the Bible time. Kinds, but now, right. mm -hmm. you know, you're like, well, you know, the Bible, how's the Bible going to help me? Well, it helps you when you read and God trans. Uh, uh, not trans, but he gives you the revelation mm -hmm. that is for a now time. Now time, or mm -hmm. a now word, like Rhema. Yeah. So yes. that, that word that you're reading can be transformed to apply to your life right now, mm -hmm. which is specific to you. Amen. And that's why the Bible is so awesome. People don't realize it's just not a textbook or a history book. It has right now information. I like to say it's like an onion. Mm -hmm. You know, you, keep, you can keep peeling back layers, and God will keep showing you more and more mm -hmm. in the same text. It sure does. You know? It sure does. All the time. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Only he could do that. And then, you know, one time you have, get revelation about this, that text, <laughs> and then like two, three years later, you're like, oh, no, I got higher revelation higher. now. <laughs> you know, God has <laughs> really like opened that, up the That was good gates. back then, yeah. but it's even better now. Exactly. And, and so that's that's the caution, I think, of getting too familiar with the Word. Sometimes mm -hmm. we get so familiar, we're like, oh, yeah, I know that scripture. But, you know, read it with God. Yeah. You know, don't read it on your own. Pray for Holy Spirit to open your eyes. And then when you're, you're in worship and you're in that secret place and then you read the Word, mm -hmm. that thing opens up it even sure more. Does. It's it amazing. Sure does. <laughs> yep. So then, so then there's there's another level. Oh, you're so okay. <laughs> no, I thought you were done. Okay. No, I mean after you get that revelation, mm -hmm. you know you have to put it to work. That's right. So you know, just like in the Bible, in Genesis, God created mm -hmm. the world, right? But if you look in Genesis one and you compare Genesis one to com compare to Genesis two, mm -hmm. he has revelation. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, he has um. Uh, uh, creation. creation. He creates the world. But in chapter 2, he actually formates the world. Okay. You know, so it's like a person who has a house, who, who builds a house. They have the, the blueprints. Mm -hmm. And that's given to them by his mind, by, by their mind. That's right. You know, uh, one of the scriptures says that we are created in his likeness. Mm hmm. But in his image. image. That's right. Come on now. Right. So his image is like his imagination. imagination. Hallelujah. You know, so he created us up, up here. And he gives us the same um, uh, capabilities to mm -hmm. create down here. That's right. Up here first. Mm -hmm. So the next step is you have to create up here. 
you know, you, you get all this revelation, you, you trans, you're doing this transformation, but you have to really put it to work in the earth. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. he gives you ideas, he gives you imaginations, he gives you images That's that right. you can create here on earth. And then the last step, he gives you the ability to form it. Mm. You know, so okay. so that's when you actually taking it to a whole nother level and actually bringing something out of the spiritual into the natural. Mm. That's you know? good. Yes. That's good, baby. That's yes. good. I thought you were gonna go somewhere else. It's, go a, it's a similar thought. Uh -huh. um, I was gonna say activation. Uh, yep. So yeah. so it's the same mm -hmm. thing. Formation, exactly. mm -hmm. activation. Mm -hmm. You know, taking those those uh, those thoughts that he gives you. Those pictures mm -hmm. you know God speaks to me in pictures a lot of times I'll be praying and he'll just show me a scene you know sometimes it's quick sometimes it's long but it's a scene it's in my imagination and I used to dismiss that before yeah. but now I realize that that's how he speaks to me exactly. so you I hold on to that thing I meditate mm -hmm. on it mm -hmm. I speak it we talk about it we pray over it, and that's actually activating or bringing it into it's formation just, yes. that's amen. good amen, amen. <laughs> don't ha yes. hallelujah holy spirit because <laughs> i'm about to give you credit but you know we no, gotta give him credit it's all for that. him it's all him that's for sure that's awesome so yeah so those are the steps that i believe that anyone can take that's that right. gets them closer to god it also gets them um uh, activated right. <laughs> here on earth that's to right. actually Take the word and do something with it. So Why? let's recap that. Mm -hmm. First, you you uh, read for information. Infor information. Then it goes on to inspiration. Inspiration and, and motivation. motivation. Mm -hmm. Then you go on to doing it for transformation. Mm -hmm. Then you uh, go on and read the words behind the word with revelation. Revelation, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, then you have creation. Creation. And then formation. Formation or yes. activation. Or activation. I like that. I might change it to activation. <laughs> I'll let you borrow that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, dude. No, that's really good. Yeah. I mean, that's great information yes. because a lot of times we, we don't have a plan when we read the word. We exactly. just, we are opening it up. Sometimes people play what they call Bible bingo. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with that. We just open it up and see what's there. But as you mature, God will give you... A plan. A plan, exactly. He will give you a blueprint for mm -hmm. how to how to read and benefit from yes, it. So, yes. I, so, so one of the things that I do is I actually put those words down, straight down the line. And I ask God, give me the information, what, what scripture that he wants me to, to read. Then give me the inspiration, what, what is it that he wants to inspire, or, or what is inspiring me to... Um, move on that that, that scripture, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and then you know I just go right down the list of all the things that I feel that the the the, the blueprint that he gives me to bring me to a, a higher level of motive, uh, 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 fruition, maturity, a, yeah, a, a, a mm -hmm. maturity with him. Oh, okay, I see what you're mm -hmm. saying. All right, yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Well, dear, mm -hmm. our time is up for the day. Yeah. I want to thank you for sharing that with. With our audience, with Amen. our friends Amen. and our family, our Facebook family. I hope you can use it. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's what the whole purpose of um, our show is. Mm -hmm. Just to kind of share how God is taking us along our path and and hopefully let that benefit you in some way. Amen. So thanks for being with us and we look forward to coming back to you with another episode of Good Day G A. G A. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.